I would love us to start class seated. So whatever is supportive and comfortable for you right now, maybe on a block, on your mat, or against an armchair, against a wall, see what works for you. And then close your eyes and give yourself permission to arrive, to sort of land and Notice some days we already very landed as we come onto our mat. Some days we are very far from landed. And simply acknowledging that no, no good, no bad, neither right nor wrong, with an open heart and open arms, we embrace and welcome whatever is part of this moment. Closing our eyes and resting our hands where they're comfortable. I invite you to maybe move around a little so that we're not sitting from a mind space of how we feel we should sit, but so that we can sit really from within, from within our center, from a long spine and shoulders and ribs and pelvis stacking naturally, crown stacking naturally above, maybe shifting head slightly side to side to notice, oh, oh, this is really tight or this, and then just gently softening, turning your inner gaze upwards, feeling and sensing the space between your eyebrows. Often I do this and I feel a sense of light and lightness up there. And then I let that light shine and just soften, soften the muscles around our eyeballs and our forehead. Simply acknowledging that every time we think and we get stuck in our thinking or worries, we not just creating tension in our mind, but we create tension in our body. So tuning inwards, noticing and softening these subtle layers of tension we might be holding around our forehead, our cheeks, maybe the jaws, or maybe down the neck and into the shoulders. So sense and feel and look inwards and relax and release. Relax the root of your tongue, the roof of your mouth. Let your eyeballs drop inwards. Imagine you could even soften your inner ears. Let everything soften. The teeth, the roof of your mouth, your throat, all the way down into collarbones and ribcage, into heart center, down into hips. Soften the thighs and the inner legs. Really let earth hold you. Notice whether you might be resisting, grounding through your sit bones and really land. Notice how that surrendering into the earth allows you to really expand and unfold and be tall and spacious. As we soften and surrender and ground on a physical level, the mind has no choice but follow. As we land on our mat into earth, we land into the present moment. We land into the here and now. We hear, we hear the sounds that surround us. And we feel air on our skin. We sense our body in space. We witness thoughts coming and going, witnessing sensations in our body. And then we gently guide our awareness to breath, witnessing breath. Simply noticing quality and depth and length of our inhalations and exhalations. And maybe sending a gentle invitation towards breath to deepen and widen, to unfold as it might need to, want to this moment. Maybe 
breathing ourselves out of our heads into this moment a little more deeply with each breath we take. Let every inhalation be an unfolding, an expansion. And let every exhalation be a gesture of surrendering, of letting go everything that's not this moment, of letting go of everything that is not truly you. Find stillness and fill each moment with curiosity kindness, patience. Some days we need a big dose of compassion for ourselves, nurturing, nourishment. Maybe you ask yourself internally, what would make this practice or this time here shared together the most beneficial, most helpful time for you? today, here and now. And let an answer emerge from deep within. It's not a head question. Feel the answer and let that inner truth um, guide your practice, align your practice. And then I invite you to gently slide your hands up and down your thighs, simply feeling skin or the fabric of your pants, the insides of your hands. And with your eyes still closed, let's lift our hands up with soft shoulders, soft neck. And simply holding hands in space, ask yourself, how do I know my hands exist? There's no movement without looking. How do I know my hands exist? And fill this moment with curiosity a sharp awareness. Continue to seek and look. How do I know my hands exist? Feeling them from inside out. Feel the boundaries between hands and space, sensations. And we gently bring our chin towards chest, flicker our eyes open. Now lift our gaze, bring our hands forward. Now sensing and seeing, sensing, connecting, sight and feelings. And then just mindfully bringing hands together, interlock the fingers, turn your palms outwards, soften your shoulders downwards, your elbows downwards, lengthen yourself tall, and then start reaching hands up, wherever they want to land. They might be here in front or up above your head. As you inhale, you grow a little taller, reach a little higher, and on your exhalation, slide your shoulders and ribs down. And as you inhale, see if you can grow taller from pelvic floor, from tailbone into crown, so through your center. And then as you exhale, you soften through your periphery, your knees, your thighs, your hips. See if you can reach your hands further down, lifting your chin, lifting your gaze, and continue. Every inhalation, you grow tall. With every exhale, ribs, shoulders down, soften your upper back, soften your inner thighs, growing spacious with every inhalation, and soften with every exhale. Notice the stance in your breath, in your body, Let's take another big deep inhale, exhale, soften. We turn our gaze forwards, release our hands, turn our palms towards one another. See if the shoulders might be able to soften a little further down. And then start twisting left, twisting from the pelvis through your spine, hands come down. Rest them on knee and mat and look over your back shoulder. Mindfully turn your gaze to look over front shoulder. Lean your head back, open your collarbones, lift your sternum, look behind you, look over back shoulder again, see if you can deepen a little further into the twist. Every inhale, you grow tall. With every exhale, you relax through the periphery. We come back to center, rise our arms up. Inhale here. And then we exhale, soften down. Inhale, grow taller as if your sit bones are about to lift off the mat. And exhale, your hands down through the sides. 
Long big movement, inhale up, exhale to soften, inhale to grow taller, exhale hands down. Your own breath, your own movement, inhale up, rising, exhale to soften, inhale to grow tall, exhale to twist, inhale to grow taller, exhale hands down. Looking over back shoulder, feet, gaze along your collarbones as you turn your gaze forward. Widen your range of movement. Keep sliding your shoulder blades down, looking over back shoulder again. Deepen into twist. Every inhalation you lengthen, every exhale you soften. We come back to center, rising our arms up. And exhale the hands through the sides and down. Let's do that one more time. Reach till your fingertips touch the side walls. Exhale to soften, shoulders inhale, growing tall. Exhale, releasing hands onto knees. Let's swap the cross legs, just swap the direction and start rolling forwards and back on your sit bones. So this might be super slow for you. This might be sort of wild and fast today. Make it yours. Find space into pelvis. So really tilting forwards and back. So you'll have your spine arch and round, making space, finding space into hip joints and shoulder joints. And next time you come forward, how about we bring our hands onto mat and then fold into the space between your knees. And you might wanna to inhale to lift halfway and lengthen even further. Really tilt forward and as you exhale, soften into it. Let your elbows drop into mat and check in. You might be holding onto your knees. Can you relax them outwards? Can you soften them outwards? Can you maybe even Gently press them into mat. Exploring all the layers of this moment. To come out, we bring our chin to chest and roll ourselves up. Let's bring our hands back behind, spreading fingers, gently hugging elbows in towards one another. Can we lift our hearts a little higher? So elbows in, shoulders, collarbones nice and wide, and you might be able to lift your chin and open throat. But no compression in the neck. Continue to slide your shoulder blades down to earth and then stretching out arms, maybe you can straighten them and then chin to chest, step your feet down onto earth, feet hip wide apart and simply shift your, as you lift your hips, you gently shift them to heels, to hands, to heels, to hands, very organic, your own perfect way and you might be able to lift the hips, Lift one heel at a time, gently stretching into feet, maybe opening throat, reaching head back. Continue to slide shoulder blades to hips, holding and softening at the same time. Release your sit bones to heels. Make sure you have enough mat to, to roll down onto behind you. Reach your hands forward, open your arms wide, and then Point your tailbone away, point it away. You can grab your thighs if you need a bit of support. Roll your spine down onto your mat. One vertebra at a time. Really, really, really conscious. Keep your lower back on the mat as your head comes down and your arms reach up and over. Feel your armpits stretch. Inhale here, exhale chin to chest and then witness your spine peeling off the mat. And your hands might need to grab the thighs or your hands might just reach forwards. And then roll yourself back down. Feel your tailbone, feel your sacrum, feel your lower back. Deepen your core, your essence inward. Reach up and over and we'll do that again, coming up. One vertebra at a time. Witness, explore, feel gentle stretch and opening into back body. And as you come forwards, you open up. We'll do that one more time, rounding down. Tapping into our center, really switching on our core, rolling back up. And now, as we're here, let's see, can we lift our feet? Can we bring feet and knees together? Can we lift our knees up and in? How about we wrap our arms around our knees, hug them in, slide your shoulder blades down. Might we be able to lift our feet up to ceiling and flex and point our toes? Imagine you could take a bite of your big toes here, reach. <laughs> and let's uh, bring our shins parallel to earth again. Point your feet forwards, reach your arms out to the sides. Now imagine you're your own armchair. Can you 
rest into this instead of holding on tight can you soften your shoulder blades soften your elbows and let space hold you for a moment letting space hold you if the earth needs to hold your big toes it can let space hold you can you relax here the stronger you are in your center really hugging in the more you can relax into your periphery and let's just cross our legs bring our feet close to sit bones roll over our feet onto hands and knees spread your fingers ground your hands shoulder wide not narrow rather too wide have your wrists parallel and aligned and as you circle around your wrists see if you can maybe spread your fingers a little wider or maybe you lift your palms and stretch out your fingers bending them backwards notice where there's resistance and tension notice where the shoulders contract to uh, compensate and continue to make space bring your palms back down and let's just roll over right toes stretch our right leg out pressing right heel back hands on the shoulders shoulders sliding back take your gaze slightly forward lift your right heel up now bring your left fingertips to tummy see if you can bring hip bones and lower ribs a little closer so this is really strong and if you want to add on maybe left arm reaches out to the side coming into a bit of a twist right heel lifts left chest opens navel strong don't know about you i'm shaking so <laughs> soften reach ground the top of your left foot into mat and open like lean your head back open your heart looks a lot easier than it is and left hand down right knee comes down the toes point back all five toes on the mat roll over left toes gently press your left heel back a couple of times take your gaze forward our head tends to hang we tend to stare at our feet look forward and then lifting left heel foot stays flexed right fingertips to navel imagine there's bungees between hip bones and lower ribs hug it in relax your shoulders down just holding that right foot on earth and if you want to add your right arm might come up and you might notice a big difference between the two sides and explore every inhalation continue to broaden and widen with every exhale softening whatever is in the way reach a little further inhale here and exhale hand and knee down Whew. tuck your toes under and then lift your knees to hover shift your weight to heel so see and feel your hands press forward and then you unfold your legs and you might unfold your legs one leg at a time how about you roll your hips a bit how about you bend one knee at a time poking sit bones up have a look at your hands see your wrists parallel bend your elbows hug them in and stretch your arms out again and then let's come back onto knees for a moment keep your hips above knees point your toes back all toes flat on the mat and then just walk your hands forwards walk your hands slightly outward so your hands are in alignment with your mat and then dropping forward hips stay above the knees in doubt rather shift them slightly forward and it might be your forehead on the mat or your mouth or maybe a cheek see if you can externally rotate your upper arms and melt your heart center melt your sternum down into earth notice where there's resistance and guide your breath there inhaling expanding into that resistance exhaling softening it imagine there's those tight muscles are like ice and you're warming them up they become water and eventually steam let your spine hang let your sternum kiss the earth whatever that means for you soften into it continue to lift your sit bones high and just be here surrender Slide our sit bones onto heels. Pause in a child's pose. And bring your hands back in line with heels and line with feet. And you might pause here or you might feel inspired to lift your hands up and interlock your fingers. Let's interlock them the unfamiliar way and notice how unfamiliar that feels. Reaching arms up and over. 
You might want to even roll onto the crown of your head. Grounding into the crown of your head. Continue to slide shoulder blades to hips as you joyfully ground your weight into heads. Soften the muscles around your shoulder blades. Allowing this to ground you in the here and now. If you feel like it, maybe tuck your toes and lift your knees. Some days our minds are very spinny and they need a bit more challenge to calm down. Do whatever you need to do to be here fully. And we find our way back into child's pose. Let your hands rest, let your shoulder blades slide apart. Again, notice the sensations in your hands. Ask yourself, how do I know my hands exist? Feel the pulsing. And then chin to chest, roll yourself up to sit. Lengthen yourself up. Tuck yourself in. <laughs> Reaching forwards, coming into plank. Aligning yourself in plank. And some days our planks need the knees on the mat, and that's perfect. Some days our planks are really strong, pointing tailbone to heels, lifting navel, lifting lower ribs, lifting hip bones, hugging elbows and looking forwards, breathing. Can we enjoy this? Can we breathe out all tension we don't need to hold here right now and simply focus on what's needed? Our center, our core. How about we make sure our feet are nice and wide? so that we can roll onto outside edge of right heel, inside edge of left heel. And maybe we stay here, maybe we can lift our hips a little higher. Feel your right waistline squeeze. How about we lift our left hand? And none of that needs to happen. Do what's true for you. Maybe left arm up and over. Maybe left leg wants to lift. <laughs> Do what's true for you. Make it yours. Pause wherever you want, wherever you need. Find your way back into plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Whew. Release your heels. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Feel your hands ground into earth. Find what's light and spacious within your poses, not what's dense and tense. Flow back into plank. And then feet nice and wide so we can roll onto the other side. Outer left heel, inner right heel, reaching hips up. Feel a bit of a squeeze into your tummy, into your core, into your center. This is enough stay. If the right arm wants to lift, it may lift. If it wants to come over, it comes over. If the right leg wants to lift, maybe it lifts. Notice the difference between the two sides. Remain in your center, remain calm in your breath. Witness and observe, coming back down into plank, maybe straight to down dog, or you might go through a vinyasa. So I usually start just the knees down, the toes back, gently softening hips, gently pointing tailbone away, open heart, open chest. And then find your way through hands and knees back into down dog. And you might want to pause here or here. How about we come forwards again? Let this movement flow through you, coming into play, and then your own chaturanga or cobra or up dog variation. And back into down dog. No right, no wrong. Make it yours. One more time. From down dog into play. From play through your vinyasa. From here back into down dog. From down dog, walk your hands to feet. Bring your hands up your feet, up your shins, just wherever you can be to lift your chest. So you lengthen the line from chin to pubic bone, long line. The sit bones lift, maybe hands on pelvis. Take your inhalation here for space, and as you exhale, you fold forward. Let yourself hang, your knees might be bent. Have your feet nice and wide, outside edges parallel. Hands might be on opposite elbow or just hanging. I invite you to lift your toes and spread them out. Notice what it feels like to be evenly balanced in your feet. Take another inhalation here, dropping toes. Lift your chest, so maybe hands onto knees. Wherever you need to be with 
regards to your hamstrings, see what works for you. And exhale, fold forwards again, folding a little deeper. Feel yourself lifting up through inner ankles, through pelvic floor, up into sit bones. Let's do that again. Inhale to lift, halfway up. Maybe if you're flexible, the fingers on the mat or the hands here on your shins, on your thighs. And exhale to fold forwards again. Feel that strong striving through the legs and that softness through your spine. Let's do that one more time. As you inhale, you lengthen forwards, make even more space, and exhale to fold. Now this round, we're just gonna tuck that chin to chest and round ourselves up to stand. Rounding through our feet, coming up, rolling our shoulders back, opening wide, claiming some space like a rock star, Ugh, reaching it out. I was watching Bohemian Rhapsody the other day, still wondering how to bring some of that into our yoga. <laughs> we inhale to rise up, back the space above, exhale, soften ribs and shoulders down, standing your tallest you. Can we be on our toes even and stand even taller? Strong glutes to point tailbone down, strong navel to support our balance. And then uh, exhale your sit bones back into Utkatasana. And slowly release your heels down, cup your hands onto knees, shift your knees back, lift your tailbone, lift your heart, inhale here, exhale, folding it forwards. Give yourself permission to just hang here for a moment, maybe drawing kneecaps up and sit bones a little higher. And then looking forwards, find the front of your mat and find your plank. And plank becomes down dog, or it might through, move through a vinyasa through your chaturanga or up dog or cobra. And we flow back into down dog. Now from down dog, let's walk our hands back to feet. And just open our toes out to the sides and come into a squat for a moment. So opening your toes, opening your knees. Um, see if you can ground your heels. It might be a cushion under your heels. How about we bring our elbows to inner knees and just pressing hands into one another. Feel your collarbones widen and your knees widen. Open your inner thighs. If you can go a little further, how about turning palms forwards and up? And then driving the thumbs outwards as if you could make them touch the wall behind you, opening your inner thighs, grounding into feet, maybe swaying from side to side. How tall can your spine be? <laughs> Might we be able to keep our knees as they are and lift our arms up, bring our hands together? Whew. Challenging, isn't it? Reaching and releasing hands down, fingers gently on mat and strive your sit bones up. Keep your feet as they are, toes pointing outwards. Sway from left to right, right to left. And then heel toe your feet to be parallel and roll yourself up to stand. Rolling back, shoulders back, opening up wide, opening chest wide. And drop your hands down alongside your hips. With our next inhalation, we rise up. Noticing how we come deeper and deeper into our body, into the present moment. Noticing stories that arise with it. Folding forwards, lifting sit bones. Gazing forwards, we crawl our way to the front of the mat. Lengthen into plank. Maybe plank becomes down dog. Or you might go through a vinyasa first. And find your way back into down dog. From down dog, we lift both heels. We stretch out all 10 toes. Bend your knees, lift your sit bones high. Can you rest your lower ribs onto thighs and look forward and bend the elbows. And find enough space to step your right foot to land between your hands. <laughs> Release your left knee down onto mat. Right knee above heel, point your left toes back and gently sway. Gently sway from side to side. Find a bit of space into left hip. Sway, moving. 
and then fingertips light alongside the heel. Can we move the hips forwards and back a few times? Forwards and back, forwards and back. Finding a sense of openness through the hips and through the thighs. And next time we meet with our knee above our heel, we bring our hands onto knee, press ourselves up and away from knee. So left hand comes to navel, lift your navel up and in. Feel how that takes it a little deeper into left thigh. So navel up and in, roll your shoulders back, slide your shoulder blades down and then sink your hips forwards. But keep your navel up and in, keep your tailbone pointing down. Reach your left arm up high. Slide your right hand to outer right hip, to right hip crease, and then bring your left elbow over right knee. Press your knee and elbow into one another as you maybe stack your hands and twist. If you want to add on, you might even be able to press your left foot, the top of your foot, into mat, and then sink even deeper into left hip flexor. So your right knee might be off the mat. Soften. Be where you're at. Simply surrender and observe and explore. A big dose of curiosity. And then coming to center, let's rise our arms up. Lifting up, expanding up. See if you can lift your gaze and really be where you're at. Bring your hands down onto earth, inner foot. Walk your foot to outside edge of mat. Let your right hand follow and sway a bit. Left and right, roll onto outside edge of left kneecap, inside edge. Notice the sensations, notice how you might be tempted to react, to grind your teeth or to withdraw, but stay present. Can we shift our hips back, stretch out our right leg? We come forwards again. Let's tuck our, no, let's keep our left toes pointed for now. Might we be able to find our elbows? Might you be able to draw your right knee into right shoulder and open your sternum and heart forward while your tailbone extends back? Notice how it's very really tempting to round the lower back here, but can we instead lift the sternum forward and sink deeper into our hips and really embrace what is, be with what is? When I do this, my right pinky toe sticks up and out. <laughs> so I'm trying to relax that one down as well. <laughs> Bring your hands back onto earth. Hands shoulder wide, right hand right on the inner right foot. Tuck your left toes under, so finding your feet. And then roll your left heel down. Pinky toe side parallel to short side of the mat. It's like warrior two legs. Keep your hands where they're at. And then gently, mindfully move forwards and back. Stay really, really low in your hips. And see if you can draw your knees away from one another as you move forwards and back. Straighten and bend one leg at a time. <laughs> Wiggle your toes, they tend to hold on here. And then we'll meet with our right knee above our heel. See if you need to adjust a bit. And ground your right outer shoulder into right knee. Lift your left hand up. Bring your left hand up onto lower ribs and hip. And open your left side up to ceiling and then left hand might come up. And see if you can sink your hips a little more. Can you? Can you keep your pinky toe, your left pinky toe rounded and sink your hips a little further down to earth. Open your knees a little wider using your right shoulder and really making it yours. You are within this moment, within your body. Play with that. Might we be able to straighten our right leg, maybe just a little, or maybe all the way into a tree kanasana? Might we be able to take our gaze upwards? And no is always an option. And left hand comes down, right leg bends, our hands shoulder wide. Let's roll onto left toes again and just step our right foot back into plank. Maybe moving straight into down dog or maybe moving through a little 
heart opening vinyasa, a little chaturanga cobra flow. And finding our way back into down dog. And let us, let us come onto knees for a moment and pause in child's pose. Bring your hands alongside your feet and simply notice how different the two sides of your body might feel right now. Notice yourself, notice your heartbeat and notice how all that activity might create an active mind as well. So come back to softening forehead, eyebrows, the muscles around your eyelids, your cheeks. Continue to soften and surrender all these hard boundaries that we build around ourselves. Now look forwards and with ease bringing hands forward, spreading fingers wide. Fill each moment with curiosity, finding your plank. Shifting back into down dog, reaching hips up and away, lifting both heels, stretching all ten toes, poking sit bones up, bend your elbows, hug them in, look forward. How much space can you make here? And left foot lands between hands. However it gets there is perfect. Right knee comes down, right toes point back, gently sway from side to side. Gently shift your hips back and forwards. Find what's spacious within you. And we'll meet with our left knee above our heel. Finding our hands on our knee and pressing ourselves away from knee. So your left thigh is nice and long. Now, left hand stays on the right hand, lifts the navel up and in. Roll your shoulders back, lift your heart, lift your navel. Feel a stretch into right um, hip flexors, right quads. And then see if you can take it a little further forward. Reaching right arm up, maintain your core center. Remember those bungees between hip bones and lower ribs. Soften into that. Left hand comes to left hip crease, drawing it down and back. Right elbow onto knee or over knee, hooking knee and elbow into one another. Maybe that's enough. Maybe hands come into one another. Make space. Maybe that's enough. Maybe your right knee wants to lift. Or you notice this knee doesn't do it. The other knee did. Or maybe the other way around. Soften. Soften back into it. Reach into it. Make space and surrender into thighs, into hips. Another inhalation here, exhale, soften backwards, reach into yourself, coming to center, rising arms up. And might we be able to sink a little lower? Continue to point your tailbone down and forwards. Continue to lift your navel, lift your pubic bone as you reach it back, unfolding your body. Coming forwards, coming down, fingertips come down onto earth. Walk your left foot to outside edge of mat, left hand to inner foot. Gently swaying. How about we shift our hips back and stretch our leg out? How about we come forwards and land on our elbows if possible? If you notice that this is a bit much, simply come back onto hands. Now slide your shoulder blades down, lift your heart and sink your hips, reach your thighs away from one another. Open your heart, slide shoulder blades down. It's very tempting to round here, but we want to be heavy in our hips and light in our heart, strong in our center. Now walk your hands back in line with feet, left hand on inner left foot, right hand under right shoulder. Tuck your right toes under, lift your right knee, and then roll your right heel down. Spread your toes out wide. Your feet are kind of like warrior feet now, and then shifting forwards and back. I'll turn around. Shifting forwards and back, so bending one knee at a time. Keep your hips low to earth, and notice these two sides might feel very different. Explore. Keep lifting your heart. 
Keep grounding your feet. Be deep in your breath, deeply connected into sensation. Fully in this moment, no matter how comfortable or uncomfortable it might be right now. And let's come forwards. Left hand on inner left foot. Your knee above heel, ground your shoulder, your upper arm shoulder into knee. And this might be enough, then you just stay. If you can, roll your right chest open. Roll your right hip open. Roll your right arm up. And maybe you can sink a little deeper into that left hip. While you open the knee out to the side, Sink your left hip downwards, roll your right hip open, keep your right pinky toe side grounded. And maybe you can straighten out left leg into this Chikanasana shape, turning gaze up to ceiling. Notice the difference, notice what's alive right now. Notice your limitations and embrace them, welcome them. Breathe space into them, and bending knee again. Bring your right hand down to earth, roll onto right toes, find your hands, step your foot back, plank becomes down dog, or maybe moves through a cobra or up dog flow, a chaturanga, see what's true for you. We find our way back into down dog, or straight back into child's pose. And this time, child's pose, let's walk our knees wide, as wide as the mat, or even wider, See if you can sit your sit bones into the space between your heels. Big toes might come apart. And then soften your chest into the space between your knees. So your forehead might rest on that, or your chin, or your chest, releasing down into earth. Every inhalation broaden and widen wherever it feels tense. With every exhale, you soften into earth. You surrender, you release. Hold on to no tension. Walk your hands into shoulders and come up to seated. Have a moment here, either sitting on your heels or on your sit bones. Roll your shoulders a couple of times, lengthen out. And coming, bringing your knees and coming forwards. Let's find a seated position with enough mat behind you to roll down onto. And then find your way into Shavasana. So find your way onto your mat, your most conscious way. I quite like rolling myself down, broadening sacrum and then broadening back and then extending the legs out. Heels nice and wide. Neck nice and long, really resting head into earth. Shoulder blades slightly tucked under so that your collarbones can be wide and hands alongside the hips. Palms facing up, fingers curling in. Some days it's more comfortable to have hands on belly or on heart. So be witnessing breath underneath hands can help for a very busy mind. It can help on vulnerable days when we rather hold ourselves and be open and wide. So find your own Shavasana, close your eyes, soften your gaze, soften your cheeks, soften into this moment. Your mind might be meandering away. Come back, come back and soften. Remain present, fully here this moment. Allow this moment to remind you that nothing matters more than being present. No thoughts, no emotions, nothing is bigger than your inner presence. Nothing more important than your state of being. Witness your breath, follow it in and out without changing, simple awareness. Witness your body as this spacious field of energy. 
temperature, a warmth or a pulsing or a tingling. Feel the aliveness that pulses through your veins. Let this moment hold you. Earth and gravity and space holding you and life holding you. Let this moment remind you that you're safe and welcome just as you are. A moment of remembering your true self, your inner self being this spaciousness. As vast as the blue skies we have here in South Africa today, as vast as the universe, untouched by any weather that floats by, no matter how dense the storm, how dense the clouds or mist, above it is that vast blue sky. And the same within you, no matter how dense the thinking, the fears, the worries, the emotions, the angers, whatever is there, there's a space within you that is vast and light and untouched by all of that, able to hold and witness anything that comes your way from within and from without. Bring a little smile into your eyes. Let your inner mouth smile. Welcome a couple of deep inhalations and deep exhalations to wash and rinse through you. Inhaling to recharge, reawaken your body. Exhaling to let go. Anything worth letting go. Let go of everything. Just soften. When you're ready, roll over onto right hand side. Draw your knees up towards you. Maybe you hug your arms around you. Keep your eyes closed. Another inhalation here and exhale to soften into earth. Without effort, find your way back up to seated. Find your sit bones. Find your crown rising. Find your groundedness and the expansion that can root from that groundedness, from being in your center. Notice how your periphery can unfold and soften. Let us bring our hands together and rest our thumbs onto sternum for a moment. Open your collarbones wide in your chest. Inhale to gently lift gaze and lift heart. As we exhale, we gently bow as a gesture of thanking and really honoring ourselves, nurturing and nourishing ourselves and thanking one another, sharing time and space, sharing our light. Namaste. I thank you all for joining me today. It was an absolute joy and pleasure. And I hope you have a beautiful day and stay within you, stay connected with that vast spaciousness. And remember that whatever you're feeling, that peace within, it's yours, it's not attached to anything you do or anything outside of you, but it's you, it's your essential being, your essential light shining through. Thank you everyone.